Hi there, my name is Johnny Robinson and today I'm going to give a, a very quick tutorial on understanding rotation order. So that way you can make sure your graph editor looks nice and clean and you can mess around with your uh, your linear interpretations or whatever in a very smooth and clean way. So what I mean by understanding the rotation order. So in, as an animation in Maya you can come across gimbal locking which can be a, a big pain. Obviously there's very quick ways you can get around it by going to the... Um, you know, if you are experiencing gimbal locking, select all the objects, you can go into your, I think it's your curve, oh, is it, um, somewhere, where is it, uh, select curves, oh, curves, it is curves, and then you can use something called the Euler filter, which kind of, you know, uh, very quickly, not always precisely, uh, cleans up gimbal locking. But what I'm going to teach you is actually how to prevent uh, gimbal locking happening altogether, and that way you kind of get a better understanding of your own personal workflow. So let's say, for instance, I've zeroed out this arm here, and this is obviously not the final piece that I've ever done, and I want to put it to where the left hand is because my character's holding a gun. So a minute, I'm holding down the E, uh, left clicking, and I've got to make sure it is set to gimbal for one. So a minute, I'm, I'm like, okay, uh, how do I get? How do I do this in clean way? So I kind of want my arm up, so I'm rotating the Y quite a lot. Oh, so far, it look, looks cool. Uh, nothing weird happening, and I want to put it to left. And as you can start to see right here, there's a bit of a weird problem. It's the, the axes are coming very close together. If I obviously move it a bit more closer and try and rotate in these values, they do pretty much the same thing, which we don't want. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what which controllers I'm rotating first and then make sure that in my attributes editor that the rotation order is set correctly. So I'm using the Y so that's my big one. I'm moving this one quite a lot. And I'm moving my Z. So my Y and Z are my, my most important ones I want to be moving here. And the other one, X, is... I'll worry about that later. I'm not, probably not going to move that one as much as the uh, them two. So Y is my most dominant rotation. Because it's doing quite a lot. So that's my number one. My number two rotation is the X axis. That does quite a lot. So what you need to do... Now I know this information... So I know where I want it to be. Go to your attributes editor for that control. Sometimes this will be like uh, grayed out uh, depending on your rig. So I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to show you a different way. So go to your, uh, where is it? Edit, uh, channel controls. Uh, scroll down to, where is it? Rotation order. I've got it somewhere. I can't. There we go. R. Define it. Sorry about this. It is on here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, rotation order, there it is. And click on the the right one, the move, so it's keyable. Move to keyable. So, yep, cool. And you can see now it's placed the rotation order in the channel box. Close that. As you can see, it's grayed out because it's been locked at the moment. We don't want that to happen. So right-click on it and click Unlock Selected, which is, uh, yeah, that one. And it goes gray, which is good. Uh, and for the t uh, for the time being, obviously, right click and click key selected. What that'll do is, it no, bollocks. I didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> key selected, that's what I meant to do. I meant to do that one. Right, okay. So now I've got that, and I know exactly the rotation order. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it's currently set to X, Z, Y. And it's very weird how uh, Maya sets up its scene in its rotation orders. It, you would think X is the parent to Z, and Z is the parent to Y. So... Y would be the child of Z, and Z would be the child of X. But it's not. It's the opposite. It's the actual order is Y. So the parent order, it starts at the very end. So you can see this little one right there at the end. It's, so the actual parent order is Y, Z, X. You invert it for some reason. So that's the parent. So you can see the far left one is the child. So the far right is the main parent. And what I want to do is figure out, you know, like I said, I wanted my main one to be Y. And my second one to be what? Which one is it again? So I remember, I think it was, it was Z. Z ones. Z wants to be my second one. So it's actually it's set up all right. So what you want to do for your main one, which is mine is Y, you want to make sure that the very end of your uh, rotation order is set to your main one, which is your more dominant one. In my case, it's my Y. So I look for one which has got a Y. So it could be that one. It could be that one. Yeah, it only could be two. So I mean, it's already set to one. It's got to be one of these two. 
Uh, so, okay. And then I, what I want next is, I think I said Z is to be my next one. But, is, this is really weird. You would think your rotation order would be the second one down. Because that's the most second dominant rotation. It isn't. It's your very first one. It's very peculiar. So, you want your Y to be at the end, in my case. And you want your second to be at the very beginning. So, I want Y at the end and Z at the beginning. So, Y... Oh, it's that one. So, it's, so it's Z, X, Y. Cool. So, I click on that. It's keyed now. When I rotate this, see how it's rotating everything? It's looking good so far. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I'm just getting a bit confused there. Obviously, it looks a bit silly in this angle, but that's fine. But it's a very clean way of how you can keep things in line. I know it's not the perfect way, but it's actually a decent way. And that's kind of got me everywhere, and it's kept the graph editor very clean for me. Uh, so I know when I rotate these things, I'm not... Um, the channel box, it's not doing anything major. I know that's a very terrible explanation of rotation on and how to understand it, but if you watch this video over and over again, hopefully you get a good understanding. So from what... There's a big bit, bit of a synopsis. You want your very end rotation order, the very one on the far right, to be your main one, which you're rotating quite a lot. Your second, uh, like your second most dominant rotation, you want to be the very beginning, uh, the actual rotation order, and the one in the second in the rotation order, like in the, right in the middle, is your one you, you're moving the least. And that's how you prevent gibble locking. Oh, it, it cleans up your animation so you're not having weirdness happening. But anyway, I hope that was, I, I hope that helped. It's a bit of a weird, shitty explanation, but. Anyway, let me know if it did help. If not, ask any questions and I'm more than happy to help. Take it easy. Uh, I stream every day on Twitch where I do animation. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to chuck me on there. Um, I'm I call one on Twitch. Anyway, take it easy, chaps, and I'll speak to you all soon. Ciao.